need somebody Help Not just anybody Help You know I need someone Help When I was young When the idea of health care reform was discussed, many opinions are tossed around. Politicians, insurance companies, drug companies, but little is heard from the doctors. The workers on the front lines will be affected most by the reform. There are many different plans being considered, and doctors have strong opinions about which ones will, will and won't work. Many of these plans will affect the quality of health care, some making it better, some making it worse. Doctors see a need for change, but to think that a nationalized health care system is not the optimal way to solve health care problems facing the country today, and some may even have alternative proposals. With the cost of medical care and the number of uninsured Americans rising, something needs to be done. Before the ideas and reasons for reform are covered, let us review the fundamentals of health care and medical care. So much younger than today, I never, need, I never needed anybody's help in any way. Health care is everything about health. Exercise, rest, nutrition, medical care, etc. There is an unlimited amount of health care available, and anyone can access it. Medical care is services provided by medical professionals, doctors, prescriptions, hospital treatment, etc. A common misunderstanding about medical care is that there is an unlimited amount of it. Now, but now these days are gone, I'm not so self -assured. Why do we even need health care reform? Unfortunately, most Americans don't know the answer to this question. Americans don't see the effects of our current system. For one, over 47 million Americans are currently without health insurance. Of those 47 million, 8 million are children whose parents cannot afford health insurance. The lack of insurance leads to over 18,000 unnecessary deaths per year. Should every American be required to have insurance? Although every American would be able to be treated for sickness and injuries, meaning fewer deaths, some Americans do not want to be insured. These Americans may choose not to have insurance, even though they can afford it, to save money that they can now spend elsewhere. There are other options, such as medical or Medicaid reform, that will cover lower-income Americans who cannot afford health insurance and still let Americans choose to be uninsured. The government is trying very hard to fix our nation's health care problems, and they have proposed several plans that they think will fix the system. The average citizen with health insurance probably wants the current system to stay the same. It allows middle-class Americans the freedom to choose their insurance provider and plan if health care is not provided by their employer, which may offer multiple options. The current system also provides the average American excellent quality medical care and allows them to have virtually unlimited access to medical tests and procedures. Unfortunately, this system has many downsides. Most Americans are not satisfied with the cost of the system and it is not cheaper in the long run to keep paying for uninsured Americans' visits to emergency rooms, allowing Americans who do not want to purchase insurance, even though they can afford it, to stay without insurance. Many Americans think that a nationalized or single-payer system would be the way to go. Unfortunately, Americans will be taxed more to pay for this new system, costing them more money than they think. The quality will decrease because with more Americans in the system and the same amount of doctors, doctors will, not be, will be able to spend less time with each patient and not be able to give them the same amount of medical care that, we're, that they were able to give before. Another option is the mixed system, which is President Obama's plan. In this Here are the details that every American needs to know about this plan. First, if you are among the hundreds of millions of Americans who already have health insurance through your job, or Medicare, or Medicaid, or the VA, nothing in this plan will require you or your employer to change the coverage of the doctor you have. Plan, a health insurance exchange. It will allow Americans to compare and choose a plan that's best for them, either a public or private plan. No plan will deny coverage for any pre-existing medical condition or impose a coverage limit. What the system is that is eventually decided upon, which is, you know, under great, great debate, as far as the quality, the quality of care, is that your question? Yes. Um, well, it could either be good for the quality of care or it may be detrimental, again, depending on what is decided uh, you know national health care is a big encompassing thing mm -hmm. there's not just one mm -hmm. you just don't get a national health care you there's a lot of components to that and that will impact as the quality of care um, if 50 million more people have insurance there's not enough doctors right now so they say to take care of all those people number one and so that is a big 
Because there is, uh, uh, well, the, the, the cost of health healthcare is going up, and that is due to many things, the cost of medicines and uh, the seriousness of people being ill. Um, certainly not what they pay doctors it doesn't go up. But um, uh, I, I think, and, and then there's a lot of people without insurance and who fall through the cracks. So something needs to be done. Exactly what it is is, you know, still. The government has really tried to revamp America's health care system, but it seems like they have heard opinions from everybody except the doctors. The workers on the front lines will be most affected by the changes the government wants to make. Most doctors are against reform. But the government says that those who are against reform are uninformed, thinking that they know what the doctors think. According to these doctors, the current system lets them get quality medical care under a reasonable workload. Doctors also still find the career attractive, so doctors would be less likely to quit. Potential doctors are also still interested in becoming doctors because it's still a good career. Good pay, good benefits, and good relationship with the patient. Also, when there are fewer people that a doctor has to see, the doctor is able to spend more time with each patient, increasing the quality of the doctor-patient relationship. Under a nationalized or single-payer system, more patients will be put into the system while reducing the per-visit fee, allowing doctors to spend less time with each patient and increasing the doctor's workload without increasing pay. The position of doctor will become less attractive, so fewer people will want to become doctors. Simply put, there is a need for reform. Millions of Americans who need insurance cannot afford it, and these Americans are not eligible for Medicaid, which would help them pay for their care. The government needs to do something to help these Americans, but the current health care system, although expensive, is cheaper in the long run than a new single-payer system. The government should make little changes rather than big changes, as little changes are cheaper and better for the patient and the doctor. Doctors do see a need for change, but do not think that a nationalized health care system is the right way to solve America's health care crisis. The doctor's opinion should be taken into consideration when trying to revise America's health care system, which Congress has not done yet. To quote Martin H. Fisher, in the sick room, ten cents worth of human understanding equals ten dollars worth of medical science. The doctor can prescribe many tests, but what really matters is the doctor's relationship and understanding with the patient.